We are alive. Hope you guys can hear me all right. I am right next to an open window and we're cutting out decals, so. Hello, Betty. How are you this evening? It's okay, B. Do what you gotta do. Also, I'm using a color that you may find interesting. All right. Okay. So, have you guys had the most amazing today? What is today? Sorry about all that movement. I was just trying to get you guys lined up to do some resin art. What is today? Monday? Yes, Monday. Yes, I am resining today, getting back to some of my favorite things to do, which is make amazing artworks with epoxy. I'm using Stone Coat Art Coat. It's the best in the biz. I am currently out of it. I have some on order, but you can get it from StoneCoatCountertops.com using the code YALL, Y-A-L-L, -L, all caps, no punctuation, and get an awesome discount. It also helps me. Two Lazy Susans, well, that's amazing. Joseph, Shelly, TG, Libby, Betty, Gail, Rosemary, hello, Carol. Hope you've had an awesome day. My afternoon was helping Vamp in her current state uh, live. But that's okay, that's what friends are for. So I'm just getting done mixing my this. I'm gonna go grab my swipey papers. Cause I'm gonna play with swipeys today. Give up. I have too many swipey papers. I'm about to just have a promo where if you buy more than $50, then I'll send you a stack of swipeys. Marcy, thank you so much. I have a button. I know I do. It's, I just saw it not too long ago. Anyways, I really appreciate it. Also, I'm looking forward to seeing you in November and in September. If you guys don't know, I'm doing demos for an acrylic art three-day weekend here in Dallas. Uh, I think 17th or 19th of November. And then I'm teaching a class in Seguin, uh, September 24th and 25th. Um, Marcy's teaching on the 24th and I'm doing resin the second half of the 25th. And Clara is actually teaching uh, alcohol inks the first half of the 25th. And if you would like to get in on that, you can sign up for mine and Clara's classes on my website. And uh, you can sign up for Marcy's class on Marcy's website. And it will be amazing. Yes, Libby, in November is the acrylic three-day weekend put on by the Massey Boys. And it's going to be a maze. You can find out more about that on um, the Massey channel. But I'm not teaching there. I'm just doing demos. Well, I guess I'm teaching a demo. You should come. We'd love to have you. Trisha, thank you so much. I need to get a new button. The batteries aren't helping. It's just the button's dying. And we've had that button for a long time. Thank you, Trisha and Marcy, so much. If you guys don't know, every dollar that comes through the channel goes right back into the channel. It takes a lot to run a channel on YouTube, and with help from you guys, it makes it that much easier to be able to do. Okay. So, 
You want to see Marcy? Well, she will be both at the Seguin class and at the November acrylic weekend. So today I'm trying colors together that I haven't put together and um, I'm using this color for the first time. This is Pacific Blue Shimmer. I have, I think, 15 of these on the website. Get them while getting's good. Once they're gone, they're not gone forever, but it takes a little bit of time to get shipments occasionally. I'm going to show you guys what this color looks like when I get it stirred. Yes, we will be having a fall um, art sale here on our channel because we need to make some room. And, and if you're going to be coming through Dallas between the middle of October and the end of December, ATD is having a one studio gallery show in Deep Ellum at Deep Ellum Art Co. So if you would like info on that, I haven't put it up on the website yet because we just got confirmed for our solo show. But um, yeah, it'll be middle October until the end of the year. Super excited about that. Shelly, send me a link so I can subscribe to your channel because if I just try to remember on my own, then I'll forget. So shoot me a message on Facebook so I can remember to follow. So this is Pacific Blue Shimmer, which I know is going to be one of Jeff's favorite colors. Since this is on my phone. Oh, yeah, you should stop by in November. Yes. I know you guys are doing a wrap party one of the nights, but we should take a different one of the nights and show people uh, Deep Ellum. The deep of Deep Ellum. So, yeah, this is a great color. It's super shimmery. It's a great ocean colored blue, but I'm not doing an ocean today. I'm going to try to swipe with it. Because I haven't done a swipe in a while. I've missed it. It's time. If I have enough resin after, then I'll do a small ocean. I'm sure I have some um, boards lying around. One, two, three, four. Okay. So the colors I'm using today are the Color Obsession Pacific Blue Shimmer. I just put them on the website. I'm also going to be using Color Passion Top Cell White. I'm also also going to be using Color Passion Surrey Pink Color. And I'm going to be using Black Cherry Wine, which I haven't used in a while, but I miss it. So it's happening. Hello, Ida. How are you doing? Marcy, we should definitely make that happen. Also, there's a, is that uh, karaoke bar still in Deep LMB? Yeah, the piano place did karaoke sometimes. Yeah, lose. Okay, so I'm going to mix some top cell white into my first cup of resin. And actually, I'm going to make a little bit more than what I have poured in here because this is a paint over piece. It was black and now I'm making it white. So you can see some of the remnants of the last piece. So I'm going to have to make a little bit more white. Usually I would just do clear, but because I don't want you to be able to see through on this one. I'm going to have to make more white so we can do full coverage instead of just clear, negative, spacey. You know what I mean? So we got this white. It is a titanium-based white, which means it will further help resist yellowing. All of the whites that I carry are titanium-based, so... 
They're basically magical. This cerise is surprisingly still sealed. That means it's clean. Well, other than the lid. So if you guys don't know, if you haven't ordered from Color Passion, they um, only fill their jars up halfway to reduce leaking in transit. So if you get a jar that is less than this upper rim, that's completely normal. As you guys just saw, I just broke the seal on this one. And so that's just how they come. And you, you guys would understand. So this is a base cell. All of the color passion colors that don't say top cell, which is only one of them. It makes it a base cell, which means if you put other colors over it, it will sell up. If you can see in this cup, that halo around the main line of pink, that is the active base sell whatever the ingredient is in it that makes it do the magic that's how you can tell if it's a base if you forget if you put the colorant in your resin before you mix it up if it has that kind of glow around it so I know Marcy can really sing I have um, her CDs and I put a few in um, some mystery boxes as well. So this is a dry paste from Resin Art. Thank you so much for stopping in, Marcy. We love you. Um, this is a dry paste. It looks kind of like wet or used coffee grounds. It's different than just a regular mica because these have super pigmented colorants in it so they actually color the epoxy they don't just suspend in epoxy but there are particles that suspend in it as well this is a super awesome color this black cherry wine look at that purple with that Kind of a reddish interference to it. I love it. I love it. I super love it. Right. Then the last color we mix up is going to be our super awesome new blue. So here's our Pacific blue just in the jar. It even looks pretty in the resin. I haven't even mixed it in yet. I'm trying my best to keep jars pretty, but it's a struggle for me, you guys. Okay, what's the problem? There we go. All right. So this is obviously a very heavy pigment. It sank right to the bottom, which means when I try to use it in like an ocean, I have to be mindful of that. It's actually better if you use it in an ocean because if it sinks, you don't really have to worry about it interfering too much with your whites, especially if you put a clear in between. <gasps> and Corby, how are you? We've missed you. How are things? That's a great blue. And if you guys notice, mixing Um, a paste into epoxy is very different from mixing a powder, a regular mica. You don't have to worry about 
particles getting in the air. You don't have to worry about it diluting so much. And something else, but I can't remember. So I'm going to start with the white. I'm going to have to mix more, I'm sure. I don't know why I started with such a small cup, but we'll deal. Just a little bit more. Looks like I probably have enough to do a small ocean. So I'm not going to use too much of that. Oh, your daughter's getting married, Anne? Congratulations. I hope she's sane. I know planning our wedding drove me a little bit kooky. And also, yes, tadpoles. Sorry, that has nothing to do with the wedding. Um, planning a wedding is stressful, and I hope you guys are still fully sane. So another thing is, yes, tadpoles or like the freckles that kind of get left in your surface when your powders didn't really mix fully into your resin, but you don't notice till way too late. And then you got all these starbursts from your resin kind of settling. I should do a video on that, I believe. Oh, you love your stir sticks? I'm so glad. We love them as well. What's up, Tim? Sup, how are you doing? Sanity flew out the window months ago. I'm not surprised. Okay, so I thought that would be enough. Right now I am putting out my base white, which is actually top cell white. Don't let me confuse you. And I'm doing full coverage on this because you can see through a bit from where I've painted over a piece that was darker. Also, I don't know if I introduced myself. Hi, I'm Erica with Artist Still Death. My husband, Jeff, is over there working on a different piece right now, and we're Artist Still Death. We go live most every weekday, usually at 6 p.m., except for Tuesdays. It's at 2 p.m., always central. It's not always resin. It usually is, but it's always art, and it's always a good time. If you like what you see, please leave me your thumbs, leave a comment, share a video, follow us, and help us grow our little channel. It's free. And if you like doing resin, I have a one-stop resin shop. The website is artisttilldeath.com where we have everything from the cradle board that I'm painting on right now to all of these amazing colors that I'm painting with. Most of my colors are imported from Australia. And so to save you the time, headache, and hassle of importing pigments, you can just get them from me. I carry, oh yeah, and shipping is bananas. Um, I carry all the big brands from out of the country and a couple from within the country. All right, so let's get this party started. I'm going to start with my Cerise. I'm just going to do the Pepsi style pour because I haven't done that in a little bit. That is a pretty rad color. Then I'm going to do the black cherry. And then I'm going to top it off with this beautiful blue. Usually I would have a gold mixed into here, but I figured I could add it. Oops. Some floating gold if we deemed it necessary. So now I'm gonna swipe. 
If you haven't seen a swipe before, I'm using my swiping paper. It's the labels off of all the shipping labels, the backing. It's the best thing I've found. It's shiny, it's a heavier, thicker paper, and it's easy to control. So, I wonder if I have a rich gold open. Because that would actually look really good. I don't. Two seconds. I'm going to go grab one. Hi, big boy. Is that your treat? Rich Gold Shimmer is easily one of my favoriteest golds of ever on the planet, especially if you like a floating gold. There's some kind of magic in here that I'm not really sure what's happening. But it always looks so great. So this is a Rich Gold Shimmer. Try to get everything like prepped up and then just be like, psych. But it needs a pop of yellow to help bring out the other colors. It's surprising how laying down a color that's complementary next to your everything else really brings out some awesomeness. So as you can see, this is a 10 gram jar. It also looks half empty. I just opened it, but that's to reduce leaking in transit. These are all done by weight when they're measured. Let me get this mixed up and you'll see what I'm talking about, how amazing this color is. There's something in it that is unlike other Golds, I'm not sure what it is. I have no idea, but it's not going to focus because it's too awesome. All right, let's mix up a little bit of this. Hello, Lisa. How are you doing? Um, you are correct, Libby. Yes, the blue is heavy and it is already sinking. So I'm gonna take some of this liquid Gold Amazing, put it in my resin. Uh, Susan, I didn't know if that was a go. I can order them today and it'll just take a few days to get those in. Did you want me to order four of them for you? Uh, the Gold is Rich Gold Shimmer from Color Obsession. So, you guys, it's already doing awesome things. We already have cells, and I didn't even do anything. And that's going to be because of that bright pink base colorant. So, Any Color by Color Passion, the CP, is going to give you those base cells like that. All right, let's, I almost like it just laid out. I don't know about for forever, but if it was a big piece and the way these colors are sinking and just living, I want to show you guys one more time. I mean... I didn't do a thing to it yet. And it's already doing awesome sauce stuff. All right. So I'm going to swipe. So when I swipe, I'm going to let about a finger width of the resin come in contact with my swiping paper. And I'm going to keep it horizontal, always pull towards me. And I'm going to take my time swiping. I'm going to lay my color down in multiple areas instead of just being in the blue or just being in the gold. And that will give me an ombre of color. 
I'm gonna let those colors just attach and just slowly pull. And then I get a new paper every time, unless I'm doing a dip swipe. Let me see if I can zoom you in. Yep. You can tell the cells are already coming up. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. I'm gonna do the same thing. I got a little bit fast right here, and so that's why it kind of skipped. The beauty of resin is it's not really permanent, and if there's anything you ever don't like, you can always adjust it. Right. Taking my time. Taking my time. And I'm going to continue doing that all the way up the piece. And in a moment, I'll bring you guys in for a close up. So I think I want to add a little bit more blue for this side and some more pomegranate and some more of this gold. Where'd it go? There it is. All right. What's up, Manuel? How are you doing? Hope amazing. Okay. So when you do a swipe, you always want to figure out if you're going to go opposite or if you're going to have like a continual flow. I prefer continual flow, but if you wanted to go exactly opposite, that would work. But don't go angular and then straight. That it just won't be cute. So I always just continue my flow upward personally. But, you know, it's just a personal preference. If that is not the flow that you're going after, then uh, do something different. It's art. It should be whatever it is that you want it to be, you know? Are you? I'm going to punch my husband in a minute. A love punch. Yeah. Okay, Jean. All right. All right. I may swipe over this one because it got a little bit translucent for my taste. Okay, so I'm going to do a dip swipe now at this point because, yeah, Bowie's barking at who knows what, probably the fan. I want some more blue represented in this one. So I'm going to just take some of the blue and put it on this swiping paper. And I'm also going to add a little bit more gold onto the swiping paper as well. So it looks like this. 
right. Nice. The only issue I have now with this is that this part doesn't look cohesive because I just started it there. So I'm going to try to swipe it down just a bit so that it ties in a bit more. Oh no, when did I do that? Okay, so we're going to have to swipe over this. I always recommend not doing this, not pulling away from you, if pulling away from you is a thing. This is kind of muddy now because of that, so I'm just going to run my finger across it and push anything off that I am not a fan of. Loving it, loving it. There's not a separation right here, so I'm gonna run my finger through this bit as well. Trying to remember to only touch the surface of your piece with a clean hand or else you'll do a lot more fixing than you really signed up for. Like I'm doing right now. That's fine. Turned out. It is an exotic feather. I was doing a lot of feathers with um, acrylics. And it was really fun to do that, but I don't think that the designs that I was doing would, will stay. But maybe they will, so let's just do a couple of those. Just using one of my stir sticks to kind of swipe in some of the white. This works best if your resin has sat for a little bit of time. So it's thickened up a bit and it won't just fill back in right away. I'm trying to clean this off every time. Sorry, I didn't know you were out of range. I'm just trying to draw in some of the white. And leave kind of that bulbous area of color. Do that one again.
you do decide to do this, try to continue on with the flow of everything else you have going on so that you don't interrupt the pattern. When you interrupt a pattern, you will make something that looks a little bit more distracting than you may have intended. Hey, Roxy. Welcome. Hey, JJ. Hello, Jackie. Yeah, I'm digging these colors. I think I like it how it is. So I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. See what y'all think. My sweaty hands. Y'all's hands get sweaty after a while and gloves. Can't be just mine. Loving it. I like these little areas from where you pull in the color. And that gold's just floating on top being amazing. You can see it outlining all of these cells out here. Cells brought to you by the Cerise, the hot pink color. And then that awesome Pacific blue is just creating the most brilliant shade of purple when it mixes with that black cherry and the cerise. You know, this gold reminds me a lot of Artisu's gold from back in the day. What's up, Bug? How are you doing? Y'all, what's half of 33 and a half? I can't get to my calculator. So there's some of that black cherry mixing with the, the blue. Yes, Susan, the cerise is a base cell. All of the color passion colors except for the top cell white is a base cell. Uh, Vamp says 16.75. Ooh, look how the gold attached to all of these cells. That's fun. I like how sometimes you can't even see the gold, like cannot even really see it. And then when you put a light over it, you can definitely see it. There's that black cherry. Look at this gold just making cells on its own within itself. That There's nothing else in there other than that gold. It's magic. I don't know what kind of sorcery is in there. But I have some in stock in this moment, so. Yeah, what Jeff said. Look, it's doing it again right here. Isn't that crazy? I've never seen another color do that. And I have seen my share of colors. That gold with that black cherry is quite possibly the most regal color combination I believe I've ever seen. And I love that halo of pink that's coming off of this black cherry gold cell situation. And how you can see these colors under... In all, I would have to say that I'm loving it. These colors worked out super well together with my exotic pink feather. If you missed it, the colors I used were Resin Art Black Cherry. That's this beautiful, plummy, purpley, ready, awesome color right there. I use Cerise, which is this hot pink. It is by Color Passion. It is a base cell, which is why I'm getting all of these awesome cells so effortlessly. The blue that you see here is Pacific something. Please hold. Pacific Blue Shimmer by Color Obsession. 
It is a super shimmer from Color Obsession. Um, I love it. I had never used it before. The white is a titanium based. white so it'll help prevent yellowing as much as it can and the gold is rich gold shimmer from color obsession all of these colors i currently have in stock in this second as of recording can you see the edges so this is a cradle board with a right angle edge you can get these on our website artisttilldeath.com I will show you the back of one in a moment so you can see what I mean by a cradle. Oh, here's the back of one. See how it has that rim? That's for easy hanging without having to add a wire to the back of it. Um, I will finish these edges after it cures. I'll just turn the whole piece over so it's masked off on the front. Um, sand down the edges and then spray paint it for this piece white since that is what's on the outside edge. I really appreciate it, everyone. Love your work. Thank you, Michelle. I really appreciate that. Um, do you guys have any questions about this piece or any of the pigments that we use in this piece? If not, I'm gonna take you and show you the cradle boards. If I can get around my How fun. I can't get over this situation right here. The cells for no reason. Just gold cells of cells of gold. So this is a cradle board. It has this rim on the back so that you don't have to wire and put D-rings on your pieces for them to be able to be hung on the wall. Work in progress. That is a large work in progress. There's the big boy, work in progress. Um, I also do alcohol inks. This is a work in progress, as well as that one. And this is my shop. Special thanks to Vamp for helping me super organize it. <gasps> Thank you, Michelle, I appreciate that so much. So we carry Color Obsession, that is these, resin art, that is these. I have shape cradle boards, tints, chameleons. I'm getting more boards in soon of that kind. Just resin. Lares. More of the glitters than anybody ever. And then also color passion. All of the color passions will act as the base cell, which is what I just showed you guys. It doesn't have to say base on it for it to work like I just showed you. The top cell is a top cell, so it's gonna work more like just resin and uh, color obsessions white. These glitters are ha few less. Look at this. Is it blue or is it purple? Is it blue? Or is it purple? It's both. It's mermaid dreams. the blue and purple shift. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more into my world. Uh, we also have prints of the Johnny Cash piece on our website now. Even has a raised seal for authenticity. So Libby, I, hopefully one of the mods can add the colors I used, but I can go through if you have a pen. The gold was Rich Gold Shimmer by Color Obsession. It's a paste. It only comes in 10 grams, so it's this size. Also, as you can see through the side, that's the amount of fullness it comes in. It's a very heavy color, even though it floats. I also used... Pacific Blue Shimmer by Color Obsession. Thank you, Vamp. I used 
color passion top cell white as the background white i used okay the cerise i only have three of these bad boys left but if i'm out and you are still interested you can also use deborah fluoro pink and burnt red is also similar not quite as vibrant and then the last color was black cherry wine from resin art what name of the rainbow powder the rainbow powder um are you talking about oaklawn This is called Oaklawn. It comes in one gram jars. And I have them in 65, 15, and 35 microns. They always lay out in a rainbow. I don't know how it works. I don't know what kind of sorcery did this, but look at that. The particles always show a rainbow. You know that show how it's made? I want to do a request that they tell me how chameleons and this rainbow powder is made. So, if you guys don't have any other questions, I have to get to work and start sending out orders. We have many clearance items still on the website, including some cradle boards and a lot of pigments. If you have questions about anything, don't hesitate to send me a text and you can also shoot me an email thornton at artist till death it was not that one carol was it one of these was it a glitter a rainbow powder oh uh are you talking about abalone or milky way abalone looks rainbowy when it's not in this uh, jar. Did you see it in a shoot like this? Or was it hanging on the wall? Maybe one of these is the color. I got two in there, mirror shine. Are you sure they're not Oaklawn, Carol? Because if it's a mirror, that would be the 65 micron Oaklawn. I didn't know these laid out in rainbow. Huh. I have to check into that. Thanks, Roxy. Um, Carol, was it Halo by Just Resin? If so, I have that on order. I don't have it in stock. Well, if you can shoot me a picture of it, Carol, to uh, the email, then I'll be happy to point you in the right direction. Between Vamp and I, I'm sure we can figure it out. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and for seeing what I'm up to today. Thank you, Jack, Jack, Jackie, 21 Fluid Art. Um, yeah. Sign up for my class in Seguin in September or come to my demo in November in Dallas. Oh, yeah, you can check your order on the website. It would show. I can see if I can find it, Carol. Um, and 
Make sure you subscribe. You're already here watching, so you may as well subscribe. And we'll be back tomorrow, maybe doing a UTC or a flood coat on a piece if you guys are interested in UTC. Possibly. Anyways, please share, like, comment, subscribe, and check us out on all of our other social media. Everything is linked down in the description box below this video. And we will see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central. Till then, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the tests so you don't have to. And we love you guys. Be kind. Be sweet. Be beautiful. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I said bye.